to Lamb Learning. Hello, I'm Scotty Seal, and I'm back with another episode where I help young artists learn how to draw their favourite characters. I've had loads of messages, and many of them has been asking me to show you how to draw a fire truck. And I also know that a lot of you have really enjoyed my Peppa Pig drawing videos. So I'm going to show you how to draw a fire truck and Peppa Pig in the fire truck at the same time. Let's get started. First of all, you're going to need your pencil because we're going to draw some shapes. And the first shape that we're going to draw will be a square. Now a square has four lines. So first of all, we're going to draw our top line like this. And then underneath, we're going to draw another line like that. And then we're going to join them up. So on the one side, we're going to put a line down there on that side. And then over on the other side, we're going to put another line. Now, this is just your pencil work. So don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. It's fine. Just try and get yourself a nice square. If you've got four sides and it looks pretty even, then you're doing a great job. And if it doesn't look even, no worries. That is what rubbers are for. You can rub it out and start again. And you can pause my video and do it at your own pace. When you're ready to go, press play and we'll carry on. Did you pause it? Are you ready to go? Great. Let continue. Now, because this is a fire truck, we're going to have our fire truck drawn from the side. So, we're going to add another line. In fact, we're going to add a few more lines. So, we're going to add over on this side where you can see me waving my pencil line around. I'm going to draw a line down just like that. So, it's not in the middle. It's just to the side of the middle. Do you see what I did? But we are going to find the middle now because we're going to do a line right across the middle just like that. And then on the top, it's almost like we're going to give it a little hat. We're going to go from one end to the other end, but we're going to curve up. So we're going to start from one end. We're going to go up to the middle and then back down. And then on top of that, we're going to draw the letter N. Because this is going to be the fire engine's light on the top of the um, on the top of the van, you know, that goes Nino, Nino, Nino. Well, it does in England. Maybe it makes a different sound in other countries. What sound does fire engines make by you? If you know, shout it out. Wow, I can hear lots of people shouting out. I didn't know there were so many different sounds all around the world. That was great to know. Now, what you might have noticed I just did then is a little line across the middle of the end. Now, we need to do a couple of more shapes. Our fire engine needs some lights because when they're driving around in the dark, they need to know where to go. So, we're going to put some circles in the bottom here. And those are going to be the lights for our fire truck. And then, our fire truck isn't going to get very far if it hasn't got any wheels. So, here I'm going to put a circle. And here... I'm going to put a circle and as you might have noticed most wheels have a tire on the outside so you've got the black part where the tire is and in the middle is the metal part that the tire goes around so we need another little circle inside each of those now it doesn't look much like a fire truck at the moment does it because it's just a big square with two little wheels we need the rest of the fire truck so we're going to put a line on the back like that and then another line on the back like that. And then at the end, we're going to join it up. Then we're going to add some, the well, we're going to add the back wheels. So we're going to put one wheel there. And then another wheel there. Then we are going to, we're going to put a logo on the fire truck so that people know it's a fire truck. So we're going to put a circle on the door. And then we're going to draw a little flame. And a flame... We can put a little circle there and then some spikes on the top of it and that represents fire. Now, what else do we need? Well, if you've been in a car with your mummy, your daddy, your granny, your grandma, any family or any adult, you'll know that on the side of a car are mirrors so that you can see if other cars are coming up either side of you. So, let's put some more circles. 
because these are going to be your fire trucks mirrors now what does fire what are we missing from our fire truck what do fire trucks have what do they need shout it out okay i think i heard someone said a ladder you're very right because i need a ladder if i'm building some fire they need to be able to get up to the top of the building so we are going to draw a ladder and we're going to pull it on the back so we're going to put one line down there and then another line down there and then that wouldn't be a very good ladder unless it's got some steps so we're going to put some lines along it like that can you see what i did please do pause the video if i'm going too fast pause it pause the picture that you can see at the moment and then copy it and as i said if you make any mistakes it's no problem because you are drawing with your pencil and you can get a rubber and you can rub it out and you can start again or you can improve it right now what are we missing something really important shout it really loud yep i think i heard someone say water that's right uh, the whole point of a fire truck is that they're going to find where a fire is so that they can get their hose and spray water on the fire that will put the fire out so at the back of our fire engine we are going to draw a big circle and then in that big circle later on we are going to draw our fire hose but for the moment we are just creating shapes because the next thing we're going to do is colour it in but before we do that the very last thing i need to draw is a steering wheel now in the uk we drive on the right side of the car and i know in many places all around the world you drive on the left side of the car now i'm going to draw the steering wheel on the right side so that's this side of the car but if you're in a country like america or europe or africa or asia or part of the world where they drive on the other side by all means do draw your steering wheel above this light on that side but i'm going to put mine right here so i'm going to draw a circle and then i'm going to just put a line there because that's the bit that connects the steering wheel to the vehicle that turns the wheels and i'm just going to put some lines in like that and that is my steering wheel now are we ready to color in yet no we're not because what did i promise i said we are going to draw pepper pig as well we're going to put pepper pig in the fire truck can pepper um, pig drive the um, fire truck no, because Peppa Pig is just a little piggy. But she can certainly sit in a fire truck. I'm sure many of you have had firemen come to your school where you've gotten to sit in a fire truck. And in this picture, that is what Peppa Pig is doing. She's sitting in the fire truck. So, to draw Peppa Pig, we are going to have her inside the fire truck and inside this big window right here. So the first thing we need to do is draw a circle. And that's going to be Peppa Pig's main head. And then on the top of her head, we are going to do one letter N and then another letter N. Those are going to be her ears. And then we're going to do two little circles there. And then two little dots in the middle. Those are going to be her eyes. And then just to the side, we are going to do another circle just like that. And we're going to do two little circles inside and then we're going to put one line from the top of this circle to the top of that circle and then one line from the bottom of this circle to the middle of that circle and then we're going to put a big smile and then we're going to put one line there one line there and then we are going to draw our hands in a little bit later on now what you need next is the color red i am going to use my red paintbrush but you might want to use a red crayon or a red foul tip or a red color pencil but if you are using paints make sure to ask your mommy your daddy your granny your auntie your uncle your teacher your carer whichever adult is in charge do ask permission first because paints can get really messy and an adult will need to put down some paper or some sheets so that you don't get paint on the furniture and you don't want to get in trouble do you so pause the video and go and ask i will wait a second right you're back you've unpaused the video and i'm assuming you got permission great let's get started i got my paint one so the fire engine is pretty much all red 
So just copy where I colour in the red and you just draw along. Right, let's get this coloured in nice and quickly. So this is the top of the fire engine. That's the roof. And then what colour is the Nino light? Yep, you're quite correct. It is red. Though in the UK, I do believe the light on the top of a fire engine is uh, blue. But it's different in all different countries. And in the Peppa Pig video, I know that the fire engine has a red light. So we're going to stick with that. Right, now we also need to colour in the bottom of the bottom of the fire engine just like that and just quickly colour in them side mirrors and then I'm gonna go straight along and afterwards we are gonna go over this and add a bit more outline detail so don't worry too much the main reason for the pencil work is so that you know where to colour in as you can see do, do, do. Right, cut it out in nice and quick. Make sure to, if possible, if fill it all in. Don't leave any white gaps. I mean, don't worry if you do. It's not a problem. You know, whatever, however you think it looks best and whatever gives you the most enjoyment and happiness, do that. Because at the end of the day, drawing is all about having fun. And, you know, art is subjective. Now, what does subjective mean? That means... Individually, it's whatever makes you happy. So if you draw your picture and you, I mean, you might decide to colour your fire engine a different colour altogether. And if that's what you want to do, then you do that. Right, now let's colour in the back of the truck. Whoop, across there, and across there, and down. I'm, I'm going to try and get this coloured in nice and quick, but you can take your time. As I always say, you can pause the video and do it as slowly as you need to. Just colour in all around and about. And now this, let's just get all the red colour done first. And I think we might have done it. Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, and we need to do this little flame in the colour red as well. I might have to go over that again in a bit because next we need the colour yellow and we are going to colour the lights in yellow like that and then another light in yellow like that and then let's go over this and colour that in yellow for the logo and we'll do the flame again because I'm going to get my red back, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Now, if you've got paints, you can mix in a little bit of black, maybe, to make it a little bit darker. But if you're using pencil grains or foul tips, you can just get a darker red. Right, so, for my flame, I'm going to do a little circle there. And as I said, put some spikes on it. To make it look like fire and then this um, circle at the back I'm going to colour all of that in this dark red colour and in fact we can use this dark red to do some outlines just so that we can keep the detail that we did earlier so I'm going to go around the top outline like that and then around the light at the top of the fire truck and then I'm going to draw in the circles for the wind mirrors that are on the side of the van like that and then I'm going to put one line down there and I'm going to put one line down there and then a line along the bottom and then along the bottom of the window and like I say you can always pause this to see what I'm doing and then over the, where the wheels are I'm going to put like a little bump to mark the top of the wheels now I'm going to go around the 
back of the fire truck just like this and a line down the back end is there anything else we need to add i could put a little line for door handle oh and i suppose i could go around the logo just like that and i could go around the lights just like that and just like that could even put a little line across the bottom like that where the bumper can go right now i'm gonna get my yellow back again because i'm now going to draw the fire hose this is where the water comes out of now this bit might be a little bit tricky so you might need some help now if you're painting you're gonna to have to wait for the paint to dry but then when the paint is dry you can get your yellow and then you can stop do a little dot in the middle of your circle at the back and then we're gonna go around because the fire hose is wrapped around the back of the fire truck just like this and there is the hose and we're gonna get a cut we're gonna get a gray color for the metal bit of the hose the bottom of the hose and this is the bit where the water comes out of and it's just like a square just like that can you see what i'm doing and that's the bit that the firemen hold, hold and then they turn on the water and then the water comes out of it now we need the color black because we're going to color in the wheels that we drew earlier just like this remember to leave the circle in the middle one these are the back wheels two now the front wheels the third one number three and then the last one number four there we go right oh now of course we gotta do the ladders so let's go over that our first line then our next line and then we've got to put the steps in the ladders otherwise you're not going to get very far up the ladder are you now oh and we can put a line down either side for the window we're almost getting there now the very last thing we need to do is pepper pig so i'm going to get the color pink so that we can color in pepper pig's face have you got the color pink great i'm going to color in her ears just like that and then we're going to go around her eyes just like this and then we're going to go around the nose and the bottom of her face we might have to go over her mouth but that's okay because we'll color that back in in a moment we're going to go over her nose just like that and then we're going to have a wave in in the fire truck so one little line up for one arm and one little line up for another arm and then we're going to put one line at the end that's one finger and then another finger because Peppa Pig has three little fingers at the ends of her hands then we are going to get a nice darker pink color so that we can draw in a smile just like that and we can put the two little dots at the end of a nose and then we are going to go around the outlines of Peppa Pig's face so put her ears in there and there and draw the circle where the end of the nose is and then one line there and then around head then we need to get that pink again and we're going to color in her little dress just like that and there we go we've got pepper pig in a fire truck oh almost forgot to go around her eyes 
a very happy looking Peppa Pig in a fire truck. You never know, she might be going off to help the firemen pull out a fire and there you go. That's how you draw a fire truck with Peppa Pig in it. Is there anything else we need to do? I do always like to show you how to write something, so today shouldn't be any different. Let's write fire truck. Now, to write fire truck, we first need the letter F. And we need a capital F because all names begin with a capital. So we're going to do a big F. Now we're going to draw a line down. And then on the top of that, we're going to put a line across. And then in the middle, we're going to put a line across. Then we need the letter I. So it's one little line down and a dot at the top. Very easy. Now we need an R. Another line down. And then at the top, just a little curve like that. Now we need the letter E. A little bit more difficult. Well, not really. It's just a circle. Draw a circle like that. But then instead of joining the circle up, when you have almost got all the way around, just draw a line across. There you go. That's letter E. Now we need truck. So we need a big T because this is another word. So fire is the first word and truck is the second word. So we need a big T. So we're going to put a line down again, just like we did with the big F and then a line across. And that's a big T. Uh, we need an R, which you already know how to do. So it's a little line down and a little line across. Uh, now we need the letter U, which is like half a circle. Just like that. And then you need a C, which is really just like the U on its side. Just like that. And last of all, we need a kicking cut. So it's a line down. And then at the bottom, one line up and one line down. There you go. Fire truck. How did you do? I bet you did amazing. Well done. How did you do? Did you have fun? Great. Join me again soon for more drawing videos. Bye. Little Lamb Learning.